What's going on, everybody? You are tuned into LIGL Reacts. I have Jesse here with me, and today we're going to be talking about, we're going to be restart, responding and reacting to Apex Legends. All right, what's going on with the game? And let's get into it. But before we jump into that, Jesse, can you tell us your experience with this game before we react um, to what's going on? Well, it was a love of mine. It was a game that kickstarted my career. I've been playing since day one. I'll never forget when it came out. It was just random. The game had no marketing. We were playing Warzone. Yeah. Homies were like, yo, this game just came out. It's free to play. Let's download it. And we never turned back, to be completely honest. Wow. Who really was your favorite? Who was your uh, when I first started out, it was Bloodhound. It honestly was really? Bloodhound for quite some time. I have almost 10K kills on Bloodhound. Dang. Okay, you're really getting it in. So yeah. why the switch? Why why do you switch it up? Uh, well, I ended up uh, switching it up because, well, I mean, just new characters. I wanted to play someone okay. who's niche. So believe it or not, right now, if I mean, I could look right now, but believe it or not, right now, I play Ballistic. And yeah. last time I checked, I was number 14 in the U.S. Whoa, wait, 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 14 in all of Apex. Yeah, uh, in the U.S. I, you in the US. <laughs> yeah. I was top 150, if I remember, in the world, but I was top 14 in the on that wow character. yo that is yeah. that is crazy man you, uh, you put me to shame but my main is mirage and i like mirage though yeah 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 you know uh bamboozle him and uh, i would say my total kill count is 600 there you go all right all right <laughs> some slight we out here yeah that's right we out here playing some apex playing some apex you know Love so uh that. but you want to give a little more background like how did you get so good and trust me, everybody, we're going to react to what's currently going on with Apex. But before we do, we, we got to get the precedence for Jesse because his response is going to mean something to you. So, Jesse, how did you attain to be so good and what has that done for you? Uh, well, kind of it was just through COVID. So through mm -hmm. COVID, I did a lot of remote work and home working. So I had a lot more time on my hands. Yeah. Um, so I played. I played a lot. Um. It got me, uh, I got into small little tournaments that I, that I, uh, did around the state that I was in and ended up going to conventions and it eventually got me into esports, like working for Ooh. actual esports companies. So wow. just playing, just grinding every single day, not stopping, having the time on my hands and then just going to things, being present, putting yourself in the position for luck to happen because that's how luck works. You ain't just lucky. You got to put yourself in a position for luck to happen. <laughs> So that's Back. it. It that's just happened. Right. It kind of fell on my lap, and I chased after it. <laughs> that's a yeah. fact. So everybody, make sure to clip that. If you don't remember anything else about what we're talking about, you got to remember that part. So just grind, 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 and then put yourself in positions where people can see you. All that's right. more or less how you do it. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So where where do you think the game is now? Because now we're going to react to Apex. So what is your reaction to the current state of Apex? Oh, uh it's not in the greatest he put the hands up he's like oh yeah wait a minute <laughs> because i don't really play it that much anymore i've moved on to a new game and it's sad for me because i've been i've literally been playing the game almost every single day since mm. it's come out and i put a lot of time and work into it and the devs kind of they put the love and work into it too but ea just doesn't allow the devs to do what really needs to be done EA, as we know, they're a very money-hungry organization, and they are doing that here as well. That's not the game. Got it. What do you think the devs should have did to the game if – well, because you did play it and you liked it. How would yeah. you react to what you would think they could do to improve it, that it made it better or to kept you playing? Well, for, for one, I have ties in the dev industry. I know a lot of people who work for Epic. I actually know a couple of people who work on Apex. Oh. Okay. and Yeah. <laughs> So through the Epic people, former, and then they've switched and gone through. And it's just the, the little things. Like uh, right now, well, as, since the inception of the game, it's been on, uh, I think, uh, a very low tick rate server. Right. Essentially, Minecraft has a higher tick rate server than that. Wow. So it's one of the lowest tick rate servers out there, and it's on a rented platform. So they're not, they don't own their own servers. They're renting them from a third-party company. I mean, a lot of people do. But with that being said, do your research, buy from a reputable third party, and get what you can really afford. EA can afford things. Right. And then the other thing is the engine that the game runs on. 
Um, it runs on a modified version of Source, and if anybody knows what Source is, it's one of the oldest game engines known to man. Why are we still running on it? it Unreal Engine Five is coming is out. When Apex Mobile was a thing, it was made on Unreal Five or Unreal Four, whichever. And everybody's big gripe was, "Oh, things won't be able to work on it. Wall jumping won't work. Tap strafing won't work. Um, sliding won't work. Any of that. It all worked." And then not only did it work, it worked on a mobile platform. Wow. Uh, I, they, there's just no excuse at this point other than EA not giving the funding in the correct places. Because they are got giving it. them funding, but just not for the correct things. Got it. Got it. So the future Apex, do you think it will eventually change? Because, I mean, they, they keep releasing new characters, new skins, and redoing skins. And, you know, it's like, hey, this skin is this much. And then we change the color and put a little glitter in is that much. Um, you know, what do you think about that aspect of the game? I mean, I don't think the game is really going to go anywhere. I don't think okay. that Respawn or EA will let it. It's kind of a little cash cow for them now. Okay. Um. But the other thing, too, is that there's really nothing that plays like Apex. I guess the closest mm. thing is Warzone. But there's just nothing that gives you that freedom that Apex gives you when you're running around mm. on whatever map you're running around in, whatever character you're running around with. Nothing feels like Apex. Jumping off a wall, sliding, dash jumping, using all of your abilities. Nothing feels like it. So I don't think that will go away. Right. Will it fall in popularity? Yeah. Mm. It might yeah. fall into the gray area where Overwatch is now. Where I don't know how long ALGS, the World Championships for for Apex is. I don't know how long that'll be around. No one ever saw Overwatch League going, and now Overwatch League is not a thing anymore. So maybe in the next five years it'll be gone. But also in the next five years, they've been dabbling and alluding to that they're working on another Titanfall Apex inspired game. So maybe Titanfall three. They just hired a new game director. So we'll see what he they work on in the next thing. All right. Well, listen, man, that, that's fair enough. Well, Jesse has reacted to Apex Legends, letting you know his opinion, his skill set, mastery of the game, to be quite honest with you, uh, and definitely dropping some gems on something that's outside of gaming that we can take and learn what it is. You got to seek and act on those opportunities. Put yourself in the right place. So, Jesse, before I close out the show, with everybody, is there anything else you want to say who's tuning into LIGL Reacts? Follow your dreams. These games don't have to just be you sitting on the couch. You can get out. Like I said, put yourself in the limelight. Put yourself in a position where people can see you. Get to know your community around. You never know where it can take you. Trust me. All right, everybody. You heard it from Jesse himself. Thanks for tuning in to LIGL Reacts. And catch us next time on our next reaction video.